down. He's not looking at us. And um, that means we've got 60 seconds to go, theoretically, until uh, William and Kate <laughs> and the new princess, as yet unnamed, possibly to be named tomorrow, come out into the street. As soon as we see that door open, I will stop talking. We're hoping very much that they will uh, come up to us. There are some familiar media faces next to me, colleagues from other media organizations who William and Kate may recognize, may want to talk to. They, they may very well not. Last time they did, we had a, a coin spinning system for who got the first question. It was all very well organized. That hasn't happened this time. We've been asked to not to barge in and shout questions. Um, see what happens. Honey, seven seconds to go according to my camera. To the door opening. <laughs> I've never covered a door so long before. It's very hard to know what to say. But sooner or later, the door is going to open. Here it is. Here come the women. Here come the men. Here come the boys. Here come the girls. Here come the children. Here come the old ladies. Here come the young ladies. Here come the old ladies. Here come the young ladies. Here come the old ladies. She do look glamorous, don't she? Just had a baby. Yeah. Hey, the little princess, not even ten hours old, and her first public appearance. Looks like a doll. A little late. The Duke supporting his wife down the steps. And the royal boat down there. And we are hoping that they will be coming to talk to us and answer some questions. No, give us one bit. Sleeping soundly. I don't know if you're hearing me in the uh, in the studio. I'm assuming that you are, but uh, I think that is probably the only chance we're going to get to see them. Though we were we were desperately beckoning for them to come to the microphone, um, they didn't. Maybe it will happen now. The cars have pulled up. Presumably the baby seats are at the ready. If you may remember, um, a couple of years ago, Prince William. Um, successfully put Prince George in a baby seat and strapped him into the back of the Range Rover before driving off. He's obviously had a lot more practice at that now. But now we can only wait to see if they come out again. But I think um, if they had wanted to talk to us, uh, they probably would have done on that occasion. But we had a chance to see the baby. You probably got a better view of it through the television lenses than I did, crouching down on the other side of the road. I'm sure it's a beautiful baby, uh, and I'm hopeful we might get another glimpse of it, Mary. Well, we're going to show uh, our, our viewers the picture of uh, the Duke and Duchess coming out with the princess. Uh, you didn't get such a good view as we did, Tim, but we've got a, a, a really fabulous view. The little princess sleeping soundly in her mother's arms, uh, wrapped up in a cozy blanket with a little bonnet on. And, and so far, doing very well, sleeping soundly. Yes, Mary, I think I can hear you. Uh, were you asking me about the atmosphere? Well, yes, the atmosphere I was, yes. here in the press pen is, is rather muted. Um, we're still, are you hearing me? Can you confirm I can hear that you're you, hearing Tim. Me? Yes, I can. 
you can. Good. Okay, sorry. There's a helicopter now overhead hovering, uh, taking an aerial shot of what's going on here. Uh, the atmosphere in the press pen is, I would have to say, a little bit muted. I think everybody was rather hoping that William and Kate would, A, come a bit closer to the cameras and, and, and B, say something to